Getting about those thanks again for tuning in to yet another video from us coming at you live from the West Coast yet again, San Jose, California. So I was at the demo event, test riding these beautiful 2024s. I was on, a, I believe it was a street glide, if I remember correctly. I was on a touring model and I was asked while I was there at the demo event, are you planning to trade in your 2020 Lowrider S? My answer absolutely not all right yes these bikes are, are beautiful they have some good technology that i am interested in harley did do quite a bit of everything that i've been asking for i believe harley hit it out of the park with these 2024s they did a lot that i absolutely like and and enjoyed and the demo event itself it was a blast and everything but um you know these bikes just don't really fit my riding style Yes, they're beautiful. Yes, I would like to have one, but you know, to trade in my 2020 is just not, uh, you know, it, it's 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 not even in question, or it's not even a thought running through my head. Would I trade in? No, because I already have way too much time, money into my into my lowrider S. Okay, I'm not gonna get what I have in it, and you know, I've, you guys already seen it. Okay, it's already built out to the nines, so. You know, I started thinking maybe this would be a good video to, um, you know, just share with you guys the reasons why I wouldn't trade in. Of course, like I said, my riding style is one of the biggest ones, right? I'm not, I'm not the kind of guy that lays down hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles on, on, on any given day. Okay. So these bikes are built for touring and they're heavy. So there's my reason number two. This bike weighs more than my lowrider S. I'm having way too much fun. You guys know I'm more, I'm like 80% city with maybe 20% highway. And my bike's pretty much built like a road glide. I have a FXRT fairing on it. It's a frame mounted fairing. So it, it does give me plenty of wind protection. And I also have the lowers. So, I mean, all the benefits that you do get with a frame mounted large fairing, I already have that on my Lowrider S. All right. I, I have that. And, you know, as far as the weight wise, power to weight ratio, my Lowrider S is, it's, it, it's, it, it beats the, the uh, 2024 Road Glide, even with the 117. And probably improved performance. I believe they said that it's improved by like 6% or 8% because of the the water-cooled, liquid-cooled heads. All right. My bike weighs in probably 100 pounds lighter than the Road Glide. So power-to-weight ratio, even though it is a 114, I do have a Stage 2. And I also have a throttle tuner. So it is very aggressive with the throttle tuner and of course the stage two that I have in my lowrider S. So, and besides that, of course, uh, I already have my bike built up. All right. This, if I do trade in, I'm going to have to start from scratch. That means stage one, stage two, paint, seat, handlebars. I mean, everything we're talking about potentially like $10,000 worth, worth of mods. To kind of build it out the way I already have my bike built out so it's just you know financially it's not you know it's, it's, it's not a viable option financially and of course my my riding style it does not fit I don't ride two up so I, I don't need two up capabilities if you're someone that rides two up obviously you're going to trade in but for the most part, I mean, it, it's always like in the Facebook group, there's always people trading from a lowrider S to a touring model and a touring model to a lowrider to a to, to a lowrider S. And it really depends on your riding style and what you need out of your bike. You guys just saw Marvel Kid 87. He went from a lowrider S to Road Glide, and now he's back on a lowrider S T. Okay, yeah, Sport Touring. He's on a lowrider S T, and it's basically a lowrider S with the fairing on it with the frame mounted fairing that's that's what it is that's that's all it is like i said you get plenty of benefits my bike has leather pros which actually have more luggage capacity than than the road glide when they're expanded of course and they're also detachable and the bike looks great with the saddlebags detached 
you can't really say that with the uh, with the road glide with the road glide or the street glide you can yes you can detach the saddlebags but of course it's it's not going to have that fit and finish of a lowrider st or you know or a soft tail that has detachable bags the lowrider st and my bike of course and of course any bike with leather pros with the saddlebags detached the bike looks fantastic you can't really say that with the low with the road glide or the street glide or any of the touring models so you know just those three reasons you know those those three reasons finances uh riding style and you know aesthetically the road glide does look i mean it, it's starting to grow on me but i i still think the lowrider st the street glide and uh and my bike the fxrt i think those bikes still look better than the road glide but of course you guys can share your comments down below what do you guys think uh you know and, and on top of the finances of course if you were to trade in for 2024 your insurance will most likely double so my insurance has now started you know dropping finally <laughs> i'm starting to save a little bit of money of course but recently I, my my uh, rates increased out of nowhere for some reason with geico uh they shot back up but uh if i were to trade in for a 2024 i'd be looking at probably a thousand three hundred to a thousand four hundred dollars a year just because of the city i live in and because of california so uh, I just don't think it's it's worth it to me. Yes, it's a beautiful bike. Would I want to own one? Absolutely. Maybe somewhere down the road, I'll probably find you know see myself buying one. But as of right now, it's just you know it just doesn't fit my riding style. And of course, uh, you know, a bare bone bike. I would rather buy a used one. You know, on the on the Facebook marketplace or just somewhere, buy a used one with. A stage one probably you know that, that'd be nice if it already has a stage one and then maybe by then of course it's going to lose a little bit of value and we'll probably see this somewhere like in the twenty five thousand dollar range anyways you guys can go ahead and just share your thoughts down below you guys let me know is is any of that stuff worth it yes it's got a new display yes it's got liquid cooled heads yes it's got a redesigned saddlebags fairing uh, you know improved suspension handling you know the reduction of the weight there's just i mean there's a lot of stuff to really like here from harley but it's just you know it's just not worth it because it does not fit my riding style at all so anyways thanks for tuning in thanks for watching yet another video life's risk get out there and ride later